All right, welcome to the Texas Truck Channel. We're at the Houston Auto Show, and I have Marcus, the Toyota truck guy is what we're gonna call him. And we're gonna ask him a few questions because behind me we have the all new 2023 Toyota Sequoia revealed last night at around 8.30, Absolutely. something like that. Awesome. So we got a lot of viewers, got a lot of questions about this, but awesome. um, why don't we just start with, uh, let's just go front to back. So exterior styling, like you said, you were telling us earlier off camera that this is a little different than the Tundra. It looks similar, but it's different, you said. Absolutely. So firstly, it's super exciting that we've actually got the all new Sequoia. I mean, this truck is yeah. so many loyal customers have waited for it. I mean, to have that out there. So, but our customers love presence. I mean, yes. they love a proud truck. And, yeah. and so to bring the, the Tundra DNA through, but I mean, like you can see the right. front is a little different. Yeah. I mean, Tundra carries all the way down. Sure. On Sequoia, I see you'll see a, a lot more of right the horizontal. Here. So this, yeah. this this lower cut through here, mm -hmm. really separating the lower from the upper right. uh, with the grill. So again, it really gives it. It's got the proud full size truck image, right. but really with a bit of an SUV right. sort of flair to it. So and before we go too much further into, um, and share what you can share, of course. Absolutely. But yeah, this yeah. is based on the same global platform that the Tundra is on. Absolutely. The Land Cruiser overseas, the correct. Lexus LX over here. Correct. Uh, correct. But so in a sense. This is the Toyota closest thing we'll get to a Land Cruiser. <laughs> well, well, you don't have to answer that. But. No, absolutely. But I mean, but it, it is absolutely true that I mean, sort of the origins and the platform development was very much around having multiple trucks off mm -hmm. the one platform. Mm -hmm. So, so one of the benefits is you get everything that is amazing about Land Cruiser mm -hmm. comes into Tundra, comes yep. into Sequoia, and yep. uh, and so it really just does make it a really amazing truck. Kind of so checks all the boxes. It's exciting. It, it's really exciting to see them come together. And yeah. you told me you were telling me earlier, but for the for the viewers, you the old one was built in Indiana, Correct. right? Correct. This is built proudly in Texas. So this is San Antonio, right. Texas. So nice. we'll have Tundra, Sequoia, both of them down the same line here. So very it's, uh, good. Very really good. exciting to be here in Texas talking about a truck that's built in Texas. Absolutely. So, yeah. And then on the grill, I want to point something out. Blue. So we've got blue here that usually means something with Toyota. We, I think we all know what it means. Absolutely. It means it's hybrid. And that's one of the questions we've already had from one of our viewers. Uh -huh. What is under the hood of this thing? And what, what can you share about that? Absolutely. What are our options there? Absolutely. So this is super exciting. So our iForce Max powertrain, is no compromise, do everything better in every sense. So better MPG, way more horsepower, way more torque. And so it's really exciting that we will only offer Sequoia with our absolute premium powertrain. So iForce Max exclusively 100% across Sequoia. So, so you're getting the bad boy in all the Sequoias. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and look, honestly, that's why our customers buy a full-size truck, a full-size right. SUV, because it's proud, it's strong, it's capable. I mean, 9,000-pound right. towing capacity, wow. you've got six or seven people in the thing, tow 9,000 pounds, yeah. and really do it effortlessly. And, uh, right. and honestly, it's really exciting. Driving right. the truck, it's strong, it's powerful, it's right. effortless. So. And, and uh, th now, this is a platinum trim behind Correct. us here. That's right, that's right. But there's also, is there a TRD Pro trim or TRD trim? Yeah, there, there is. So, so we have five trims. Okay. And, and again, I mean, our customers have a very broad range of mm -hmm. needs and interests. Yeah. So we start with the SR5, okay. we move up to Limited, very similar to Tundra. Okay. We go to Platinum, then we have Capstone, which is our all oh, new wow. luxury grade, super exciting, mm -hmm. and then TRD Pro. And then TRD and Pro. And TRD Pro with the Fox Shocks, I mean, with the off road tires. I mean, oh, really, wow. truly a very capable off road truck. Okay. So, so we do get the Fox Shocks and the TRD Pro in this. Correct, correct. And we get, so. Or you can get the Capstone, that new premium trim. And absolutely. Just announced which is on the just, it, It's special. It's wow, really that's special. That's really cool. So okay. Yeah, yeah. So my next question for you is. Uh, we got the powertrain, uh, we know, uh, but what is, and it's the exact same hybrid powertrain that's in the truck, same exact setup? That, that, that's right, exactly. Okay. So it's the 3.5 twin turbo V6, okay. it's got the hybrid system which is built into there, and a 10 speed auto. Okay. So okay. for most customers, I mean, it drives like, feels like a regular truck, yeah. just with a mountain of torque. Awesome. So it's awesome. Um, really, like I say, the best of all worlds. Right. So. All right, moving on to the rear, Marcus, uh, suspension setup. What's the suspension setup back here? Is the exact same as the Tundra or similar to the Tundra? What, what do we have back here? It's very very similar to the Tundra. So the multi-link rear suspension, great balance of ride, handling, and also for, for load carrying and for, for towing. So okay. it's a really good balance of all of, all of those features. Very good. So. All right, moving on to the rear, we'll get to the close here because here's the big difference with the Tundra and the Sequoia. There's unique differences in the grill. We already talked about that. Thank yep. you, Marcus. But also, you get that same Tundra design on the entire SUV design. Different yeah. styling here in the Q that comes all the way back. Um, I think it looks really good. I think it came out really handsome. Um, Marcus, what was the thought process with the styling of the Sequoia related to the Tundra? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's really important. This is a proud truck. Yeah. So it's really, you'll see a lot of the design features coming through that it's an SUV, but it needs to have presence. Right. And so a lot of this, like you point out, a lot of the crease here, 
putting a lot of form into the fenders. And okay. you'll sort of see a lot of this that it actually looks like there's a lot of form in the fender, but a lot of it's done through through the shape, the mm -hmm. sculpture through here. So really trying to bring an interesting design so it's not slab sided, but it's a proud truck. It's something that people really want to drive. And, and you see that carry through to the rear of the truck. And um, even this, this design feature through here, so we've got the sequential LED uh, okay. sort of like tail lamps on there. Yeah. So I mean, really, again, it's a premium truck and yeah. just making it a very special design execution yeah. from that sense. So. Right, well, that's very good. And I guess all trim levels have a three, have three rows. Correct, and that's it, right. And compared to the old one, can, is it, what's the interior space compared to the old one? Is it more or less, same? It, it's very similar. Very similar. So, I mean, it, it changes a little bit here and there, yeah. uh, but one of the key features is the adjustable third row. Oh, okay. So you can really rebalance it. For example, that, I mean, if you've got a bunch of luggage that you can really focus on luggage space. If you've got, got people on a drive and want less luggage. So the ability to balance between cargo space and third row space is really a good so option for people as well. The third row slides? The third row slides, correct. Okay, yeah, yeah, good. absolutely. So, which is a bit of a unique, uh, unique yeah, position for us that to be able to do that. So, yeah, yeah. So, things like smart storage. So, really using a multi multi height sort of platform. Oh, so even good. with the seats back that you can load into there. So, as you load in from the top, that you can actually put things up high rather than down low. So, really just thinking about how people use their trucks. Mm -hmm. We know our customers use them for many things. I mean, it's a daily driver. I mean, it's a it's a vacation truck. So, the ability to be flexible is really kind of, important. Kind of so. checks a lot of boxes. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Get these things, right. Exactly. Right. That's right. So. That's right. So. Well, Marcus, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Absolutely. Being on the Texas Truck Channel, we appreciate all the knowledge and the information. Uh, if you all have more questions, please leave them in the comments. We'll be sure to get them. And we'll look forward to driving this soon. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this preview of the Toyota Sequoia just announced last night. Thanks for watching.